Hi Libra, welcome to your May Singles Love Tower reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, we're looking at um, singles. I'm going to take a look at your energy, the energy around you, see what's going on, what's coming in or coming back. These singles readings are open to whatever comes out, so it could be past, present, or future. Please do keep that in mind, so if something shows up here you're not interested in, it probably is just not your reading this time, but hopefully it will be. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you need to. Cross watchers as well. If you're wondering or crushing on a Libra. All right, Libra, welcome in. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, let's see what's going on for May singles. DC, 38, which is 11. Hmm, light path, soul path energy. Ones that can be about new beginnings. High Priestess of Spirit, 7. Divinely guided spiritual energy. Sevens can seem a little stagnant while universe is working its magic, its blessings, requiring you to be still, sometimes frustrating or challenging. Oath, 49, which is 13, which is 4. And Chaos, 9, which is uh, endings and new beginnings. I feel like here you were dealing with somebody that... Maybe you didn't know was married. Maybe somehow your intuition told you they were married. Because Oath here, I'm, I'm getting like possibly someone who was married. And maybe it turned out to be a very chaotic situation. Um, High Priestess of Spirit is just being, you know, very intuitive, in tune, in touch with everything around you. Your intuition, your higher knowing. Um, definitely High Priestess energy. Some could have been dealing with a Pisces. Um... Hmm. I think you were right about your intuition and you probably either found out uh, this person was maybe married, maybe they didn't tell you. And I do see maybe chaos ensued after that, but oh, let's see. Libra. All right. Let's see what's going on. Let's see, Libra. Everything you need to know is down below, Libra, so you can check that out. If you'd like to, your playlist is down there. If you're new here, uh, eight love readings a month, that list is below. You can see what else I do. If you like general readings, check out my smaller channel. That is below as well. Two generals per month per sign. All right. Let's see, Libra, what is going on with you? What is all this energy? What is going on with Libra? Four of Wands, well, that can be the marriage card. Oops. Four of Swords, definitely healing and recovering. Maybe you were the other person here. Queen of Wands can sometimes indicate the other person. Knight of Swords. And the Seven of Wands. I feel like you were open and vulnerable with somebody, and it happened very, very quickly. Maybe it was a temptation. Maybe it was very fiery, passionate, a lot of attraction. Um... And maybe you spent a night together or maybe more than one and then you get up and they're gone. That's kind of what I feel here. So I feel like you were open and vulnerable and unexpectedly Knight of Swords here. I think you found out that perhaps they were married or in some other kind of um, some other kind of committed situation. Because the Queen of Wands sometimes can be the other person. I don't always take it that way, but I'm kind of getting that with all this energy showing up here. Now, some of you probably said, yeah, that's in the past, but, you know, sometimes Spirit wants to show us readers what you've been through so we could see it, and then we can see maybe what you still need to work on so we can help you for what's coming in. So please do keep that in mind. I know a lot of people comment, why does the past keep showing? I can't help what comes out. It's just the, how the cards come, so. <laughs> King of Swords, Page of Wands, Eight of Swords. They might have even told you that they were divorced, but... An energy here is just is just a very stuck energy here. I see you moved on from that. Eight of Wands, Six of Swords, definitely here. Definitely here. They may try to come back, but I think you're kind of done and you're moving on. Definitely here. You made that judgment call. Huh. So let's see. We have uh, Aquarius and Aries showing up. Tower. Yeah, major chaos here. The tower and like this tornado. Major crumbling down, major chaos. With this emperor person, yeah, definitely not uh, not in connection, not 
together anymore. I definitely feel like, okay, now that we got that out of the way, I want to know here, um, you, maybe this sent you through like a spiritual awakening or something like that, but I want to know what else is around Libra. I don't want to keep talking about this energy because I feel like you learned the lesson and you walked away. You made that judgment call. All right, so let's see here. Libra. So let's see what is coming in or around Libra. What is the new coming in and around Libra singles here? Nine of Cups, single, happy, and free. Somebody who is single. Knight of Wands, somebody, you know, I don't always take the Knight of Wands. Um, sometimes upright it's a player, and sometimes it's not. But let's see what, what else we get here. Eight, ten of Coins. <sighs> Knight of Coins. And the King of Wands. We got the King Wands. <laughs> King and Queen of Wands here. I think your first question is going to be, are you married? <laughs> That's, or in another relationship? Because I think you learned your lesson. Now, look at the Ten of Pentacles right there. Right on the Queen of Wands, which sometimes can be the third party. And I think you're, you know before you get romantically involved or heavily passionately involved i think you're going to take it very very slow and you're going to want to know i want the truth i want to know are you single are you married or what because i'm not going out or going forward with anyone if you're in another situation but we do have a match here with the king queen of wands so i feel you're taking your time and i feel like this person will also take their time they could have been married in the past I don't feel like they're going to be a player because I think this Knight of Wands in reverse is like not being a player. Sometimes upright it is. But with the Nine of Cups next to it and the Ten of Pentacles, it's a, that's very good energy. Somebody, this could be somebody who just believes in long-term, you know, commitment, relationships, longevity, traditional kind of relationships as well. And they may sense your hesitation because you may say, yeah, my last person... I fell for, I found out they were married, so I'm very cautious now. You may just be like very blunt and upfront. And I think this person may respect that you did that as well. But we do have a match here, the king and queen of wands. So there's going to be instant attraction here as well. I'm seeing a seven on his, uh, it looks like a seven, but I don't think it's a seven. I think it's something else. Um, but it looks like a seven. So this person, maybe this is Leo, so maybe they've been born in July. But we have Leo, Taurus, and Sagittarius showing up here. King of Cups in reverse, which the King of Cups upright is somebody who is just very, very reserved, not very emotionally open. But I think the King of Cups in reverse is going to be very, very emotionally open and available. Seven of Pentacles, someone who will be willing to take it slow, invest slowly. A lot of great communication here with the Page of Swords. They could actually be in communications working communications um may also meet them online as well high priestess there's a high priestess so definitely it's a time of letting your intuition guide you as well but i see some sort of sincere romantic gestures here romantic conversation yeah you've had your heart broken so you're going to be very very cautious here with the three of swords and this you know does have the opportunity to manifest but they're going to willing be willing to put in the work and take it slow if that's what needs to happen here there could be a lot of communicating through like emails and text and maybe just writing letters to each other all right this could be somebody who works with contracts of some kind as well all right so let's see um i want to know like how you may meet this person how i definitely feel like it's somebody new how will you meet this person libra Six of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Page of Coins. I'm getting for some of you that you may go on an interview for a job, but you may not get it. But whoever gives you the interview or somebody that works there may be interested in you. You may have like really good uh, camaraderie, com I guess how you say it, uh, chemistry with somebody that you meet. Because um, I see this Page of Pentacles as like maybe you going on an interview for a job or something like that but you may not get it with the six of wands in reverse hermit in reverse the hangman 
in reverse. And the Nine of Wands reversed. I definitely see you putting yourself out there. I think you, like I said, I think maybe um, you may take them up on their offer. Because I don't see you withdrawing here with the Hermit in reverse and the Hangman in reverse about taking action. And the Nine of Wands in reverse is like, you know, you know what, I'm not going to like kill myself over this or struggle over this or worry myself over this. You might just say, okay. Um, but I think if you go out for a drink, because I could be going out for a drink, maybe a coffee, a date, whatever here. I, again, you're going to be very cautious and very upfront and honest. So take that how that resonates. So you may... You may go for something and you may not get it, but someone around that situation or the person that you are either getting the interview with or you are talking to or whatever the situation may be is either going to have an interest in you or it's somebody around that situation, if that makes sense. Let's see, we have Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces. Queen of Pentacles. We, didn't we just see the king? Hmm, I'm saying another match. And we have the two of wands, so that path is going to be there. So you're kind of like paving the path. So whatever you, you're go, trusting your intuition, whatever you're going for or doing, if it's not a job, I don't know what this is. It could be something else. But whatever you're doing, you may be unsuccessful at it or it may not go your way or whatever that case may be. But you'll get paid back karmically because now you're going to meet a soulmate, <laughs> if that makes sense. Because we have the Ten of Cups here. Happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Two of Pentacles. So that's about not being on the fence, making a quick decision. And then you are Libra with the Justice card. Truth, clarity, justice, balance, universal law and order, getting what we deserve, soul contract, past life. Oh, that was a mouthful. So you got a soul contract coming in here. Saying. And it's probably something you've been waiting for. Definitely, you were deceived by the other person, but now you're going to be rewarded with a true soul contract, I feel. All right, so what else do we need to know about this new person? I want to know about the chemistry. Let's look at the chemistry between you and this person, maybe the outcome for the future. What else you need to know about this new person? Two of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Queen of Cups. Again, I'm getting something with either like a business deal or a partnership or something where, because you kind of see two people come together here and sometimes that can be like a collaboration, maybe falls through or something with a client. I don't know, something falls through, but in the end you end up falling in love. <laughs> so I don't, you'll have to leave me a comment. Let me know what that means, if that resonates for you tower so this is going to be a big shock surprise shift change coming in here five of wands you may be a little conflicted over it um because it happened so suddenly but you're moving in the right direction here with the six of swords into peace harmony and balance hmm so we have uh aries and cancer showing up here I, see, I definitely still getting this something crumbles down for you. Maybe it was just that past relationship. But whatever crumbles down, shock, change, conflict, you've been through. I see you moving through that. Something that doesn't work out. But in the long run, you end up falling in love. So I keep getting that here. So you're moving into calm, full, calm, full peaceful waters here. Moving in the right direction. Fool is about taking that leap of faith. Five of cups. So yeah, disappointed over what has happened. But Page of Swords, um, honesty, truth, conversation, communication, and Three of Cups could be courting, dating, getting to know, just saying, and maybe flirting here, Page of Wands as well. All right, so what do we need to know here for Libra? The future of this or things moving forward? What else do we need to know? Now, we did see the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. That's another match. King, Queen of Wands is here. I believe you saw the King, Queen of Pentacles. All right. Let's see. Let's see for the Libra. What else do we need to know? Okay. The star in reverse. Yeah, definitely. You definitely, whatever you were wishing for didn't come through. I keep getting that. So whatever that one wish was that didn't come happen or fell through, 
but out of that situation something around that situation you end up falling in love or meeting somebody so i keep getting that high priestess trusting your intuition higher knowing about a person so if you have that hit of like oh you know maybe maybe i may want to go out with this person you know like you get a really good instant feeling you need to trust that empress divine feminine energy here knowing your value and worth that is libra taurus beginning of something new here and then we have the moon could be something around the uh, full moon in scorpio that's coming up queen of pentacles so you may have a little bit of fear or hesitation of the unknown but a very stable grounded energy here and again about trusting your intuition here all this intuitive energy here two high priestess third eye is lit up here as well a little bit of fear of the unknown but you may you know whatever this was that didn't happen or f fell through you may be a little disappointed with that but then someone takes an interest in you and that's really going to uplift you and make you feel good in disappointment and then you may say okay yeah sure you know let's go let's go out let's go for a drink whatever but definitely be um stable ground upfront honest and i think this person is definitely going to respect you for that and be willing to go on this journey and you know take our time if we have to here birthing of something new here a new cycle so let's see we have um aquarius pisces libra taurus pisces capricorn judgment death yeah you definitely uh, left a situation here there's been an ending you made that decision eight of cups ace of swords ace of one ten of swords there's the ace of cups right there i don't know if this other person or situation may try to come back but i i don't see you um putting up that putting up with that at all as well ten of swords it's over it's done because new love is here definitely here all right so so as far as time we do have a lot of twos and threes here so two weeks three weeks and i know i keep saying that people are like you say the same time frame every day every time remember uh spirit doesn't know time the universe doesn't really know time in that spiritual sense so they may go yeah two three weeks but for them that could be a different frame of time so all right let's see libra what else do you need to know if you do like this please do like share subscribe comment and hit the bell anything you can do to support the local the i keep saying local <laughs> the spiritual community all your favorite re readers even if you like it even if it doesn't resonate it helps us all out we're not really getting pushed out we're getting kind of blacklisted we're all kind of suffering so liking anything here helps us all out i say thank you and i'm sure we all appreciate it and again everything we need is below let's see devotion trust your spiritual guidance keep getting that here your commitment has been recognized you are loved unconditionally you're about to come into a very devoted kind of connection here life force express your driving passion sensual and sexual powers are increased mm, okay libra <laughs> all righty then we do got the king queen wants here and undeniable chemistry forgiveness you are on the path of light love and forgiveness father healing is possible at this time so hmm so take that how that resonates they could also be maybe a parent divine healing honor your sensitivity retreat to recharge and heal your light can support others divine healing and we have experience grace share your gifts with grace waves of inspiration and love are coming to you exactly wow through some sort of disappointment here at libra you're going to be gifted you're going to be receiving the gift of love that's definitely what i feel here all right libra that's what i have for you so i hope to help resonate again everything's below wishing you the best and i hope to see you next time